Sup guys, Hate King here, bringing you another live reaction to this month's Attack on Titan, chapter 128. So I believe we're in volume 32 now? We're in volume 32 now, so we're halfway through volume 32. I actually have to make, make sure about this because I am so confused myself. Because I could have sworn we were on volume 31, but no, apparently we're on volume 32. Uh huh, and then that would have been, yeah, we're on volume 32. So, most likely this, this manga is going to end in about, after this chapter, in about six more chapters, I think. So, it's going to end with volume 33 in October. Hopefully, we'll still all be alive to get to that point, uh, because, you know, recent developments in the world is making living an impossibility for some people. Anyway, let's do this then. So we're starting off immediately with uh, where we left off. If you guys remember, the uh, Mikasa, Armin, Levi, Hanji teamed up with uh, McGarth, uh, Peckhams, Reina, Annie, and Okobayu, they rescued Okobayu, Jean, and Yalina, so they're all heading to the uh, port where they got to. However, they got there a bit too late because the Jaeger, the Jaegerist function are already there, and they've even, and Flock himself is uh, heading this faction, of course, and he's already taken uh, Kiyomi hostage. And these guys want to get to the port so they can get the uh, biplane, so they can fly to wherever Eren is and stop him before he does his little mass genocide attack. So yeah, things are things are on a tight schedule, as it were. So yeah, we're starting immediately off with McGuff and Hanji overlooking from the top of a hill or a mountain, looking down at the port. To think that Flock would be able to reach here so swiftly. And that's what I was just saying. <laughs> We've finished if the Jaegerists destroy our airships. That's why aren't they destroying them? And Hanji's like, I wonder. They probably don't have definite evidence of us being here to try and stop Aaron. You know, McGovern using his little little uh, uh, telescope there, like... <laughs> uh, I was talking, uh, it's easy to destroy the ships, however. If the world gets destroyed, it will take hundreds of years for the lost technology to reappear. If they want an uninhibited continent, then airships become all the more valuable. Their primary objective for occupying the harbour might have been that of holding back the Azamobito, who have ships and engineers. Hmm, okay. Still, this is Andre talking still, if they knew that we were here, they would pulverise our airships immediately. Wow, well, okay. So things are desperate, a uh, desperate situation here. We're on page three now, and the chapter is called Traitor. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that is forbidding. Very foreboding uh, name. Does this mean there's a traitor amongst our heroes here? Or is traitor referring to, you know, just uh, Mikasa's, or this group in general, in terms of their, their, their traitors to their beliefs? You know, the fact you've got the Malians teaming up with the, the Eldians, and the Eldians teaming up with the Malians to try and stop this, so they're all traitors in their own way. Is this, is this what the title is referring to, or...? Is there a traitor among the mist? Wow. Isayama just immediately, like, putting the wall of our eyes, like, okay, yeah, you're in for a chapter, man, and it's gonna, it's gonna be like, it's gonna, like, be tense. I mean, it was already tense enough, now it's like, oh god, what does this mean? Do we have a traitor in our mist? <laughs> like, goddamn. So, yeah, we're cutting down to. We're going down the mountain now, or the hill uh, where, where uh, my girlfriend hunts you. They're just a bit up, like just like a, like a floor up, basically. And down and below, we see oh, our group putting on their Freedom and New Vic gear. So Peckham's is still in her Titan form, but she's slightly out. And there's Rainer putting on his gear with Connie and Annie and Jean and Armin. And Mikasa's already ready, so yeah. They are, they are reluctantly joining forces, so stopping them. Even with the power of the Nine Titans... Stopping them, am I, stopping them, even, oh, stopping them, even with the power of the Nine Titans would be very difficult. I have to, I keep forgetting, I need to read this way, not that way. Okay. Oh, on to the next page already, page four. So technically this is page three, but okay, whatever. Uh, McGarth is speaking now. If we start stumbling now, though, then we'll never be able to stop them. A plan. And oh, Jesus was like, huh? She sees something, I think. Yeah, she sees something in the distance, and Markov notices her reaction, and he's like, what's wrong? Uh, stoop, st stop down, stop, stoop down, stop down? Hey, stoop down, that is... Oh, Hanji's getting up now, she's getting up, like, and, he's and Markov is telling her to stoop down. 
that is so there's there's smoke coming from the distance she's looking at, at out at the port out at the sea and there's smoke coming out and McGough now seeing it and they're looking out yeah there's like a whole raging cloud of smoke across the sea I'm wondering if that's supposed to be Aaron uh, I'll kill them all together all at once there's no other way of protecting the airships I don't know who's talking here uh, we're seeing Falcom and Gabby are sort of going up the hill on the opposite side and we're looking down below at the cards and the team what's going on who said that um, there's, Le there's Levi he's still let me let me go back is Levi still in the card I think he's still in the card okay I don't see Levi here I don't I don't see him in the in the page here but on page five now yeah we'll see him so Annie's talking now so Raina and Annie are together and she's talking oh, well, you need to lend me your weapons and the power of the Titans for this no issue there right why is she saying that you need to let me and she's looking at Jean Mikasa and, and Arm is just like like that and Connie just seems a bit reluctant to do that wait wait a second why Connie's just like mm, and Mikasa is speaking up now if we attack the harbour indiscriminately we will end up involving the Azama Bito too Ex and Connie's just like exactly yeah so Annie's now like your ancestors are enemies who attacked our hometown as well though and Pickham's no. If the Azabito die, that's a problem for us, Annie. Hmm. Okay, Pickham being the smart one here. Best go as ever, as always. I know. But Peckham's that's exactly right, Peckham's like <laughs> and it would be a problem for you. Why exactly? I don't know. I guess I guess the speech they said about the engineers and the the whole losing their tech and that, you know, they gotta keep they gotta keep someone alive, do you mean for that? Like otherwise they'll go back hundreds of years, etc. etc. And he just seems unimpressed with that excuse, and now we're looking at Peckham's, and I don't know if this, this is weird, but uh, Peckham's is starting to resemble Naruto here, with the with the whiskers. She's got whiskers, I don't know if that's supposed to be hair or scars, but it looks like whiskers, man, like, it's funny. She looks like a cat. She actually does look like a cat. Uh, I'm right, am I not? And uh, Okubaya, you were speaking, and he's and the Alina... So I'll come by you. It's exactly as I as you said. I could somehow find a way to pilot the airship even on my own. So yeah, he's the pilot, so they definitely need him. But without the Aza Marbito workers, then the airships would just be boats without wings. So I don't get it. They want to steal the airships or they want to steal the biplane. The, the, so we're getting the spread now of Okubayu talking and in the background we see the biplane that they were fixing up and that, you know, the propellers and everything. So they, they, they want to steal that. They're not going to steal a freaking uh, airship. The airships are built so that their wings are bent, which lets them have traction on the sea. They will not magically fly if we just unfold the wings. According to how this should work, they need to be brought into the hangar, have a maintenance check together with a flight training done, and only after that they can finally be used as intended. So are they referring to the biplane as an airship? I'm so confused then. Um... How many of these things did they have? They've only got one, right? So, and Rain is now, uh, now talking, uh, he's asking the question now, uh, and that, how long will it take? And Okobo is just like, I don't know. It depends on the Azamabito. And Mika's just like, <sighs> and Annie, I see. Basically, on to next page, seven, we need to earn time to prepare the ships while protecting the airships and the Azamabito. And on top of that, we don't want to harm anyone for the Jaegerists who will come attacking us. Is that what you are trying to say? And she, she's saying this while she's looking at Jean, Mikasa, Armin and Connie. So yeah. And Jean's now the ones responding. We don't want to harm them. We were all together back in our training days. And and Annie's just like, and so? Well, what are you going to do? And Jean's just like... He's wondering why... Because like, yeah, it's a difficult situation, man. I mean, these guys... These guys will do everything they can to stop you, Right? Most likely, they will try and kill you. Okay, there's there's no there's no two ways of seeing this. You've got one objective, which is basically saving the entire world right now from mass genocide, and you don't want to get your hands dirty killing a bunch of people who will rightfully shoot you dead if the time comes. You know, if they get the chance. So this this is sort of like a this is I feel like this is a big callback to the uprising arc of Gene when. When he had a moment to kill someone and he didn't, and Armin was the one to pull the trigger. So I feel like it's all coming back to that. Like, you need to let go of these feelings now at this point. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's been innocent and then there's been a total ruthless bastard, and the Agorists are ruthless. Like, they will they will kill these guys if they get a chance. They're not, they're not gonna take prisoners, I think, at this point. They see them, they're gonna kill them. So, and he's, w will you tell me? 
Just how will you earn the time necessary for us to prepare while avoiding harming the enemy that will attack us, see? And all the while protecting the airships and the Azamobito. Tell me, Armin. Oh, she's talking to Armin since he's the pacifist. Oh, he's supposed to be the pacifist, so, you know, he's a smart one. So, just like that time when you chased after me, tell me your plan. Doesn't look like Armin's got a plan. Peckham's, we don't have a plan. Either we settle this right this second, or we screw up and lose our airships. And Connie's just like, wait, we are here to save people. But why is it that the first thing we are going to do is mass kill everyone who is on the island? Why does it have to be like this? Okay. <sighs> He's making a good point, but at the same time, page nine. And he's just like, she's thinking, okay, she's got a sad look here now. Yeah. You guys are not obligated to go along with this in the first place. And to have a choice like this thrown at you. Okay, there's a very sad moment she's having there. Now the Connie's just like, Mika Saji, they're just thinking about it. Danny, if it had been you that day, you wouldn't have chosen to destroy the wall, unlike us. And Rain is just look, looking at her. He's thinking back to that time when Aaron was shaking his hand when he was just pretty much saying, Yeah, we're in the same boat. At the end, I'm just like you. And Rain is remembering that. But it's weird of Annie to say that as well. Like, if it was, if you, if you guys were in our position, you wouldn't have done it. Yeah, they wouldn't have chosen to do that. I don't know. Would they? Would they? Wouldn't they have? We, we. I mean, the circumstances for them as kids to them being kids was very different. That is what you meant. Oh, so so Rain is now realizing what Aaron's words meant at that time. So he's remembering that, and now he's thinking. The four of you, you know, he's talking to, he's talking to G, Mikasa, Armin and Connie now, the four of you. It's okay if you don't fight. Okay. Uh, they're, they're surprised by that, as are Peckham and Annie. Okay, so I'm going to stop it here. On to the next part, guys. So yeah, we're on page 10. And Rainer just said, Rainer just said, the four of you, it's okay if you don't have to fight. So, I guess this means they, these guys don't have to get involved in what's going to happen now. In other words, they don't have to bloody their hands, I'm assuming. I think that's what Rain is going to say. Watch together with Falcom and Gabby from a safe place. If the Jaegerists find you, you'll be forced to make the choice, willing or not. However, do not interfere. So he's telling he's telling them for not to not to get involved. Then I guess him and Annie are just going to, and Peckhams are just going to go for it and slaughter everyone there, I guess. Uh, Connie, are you telling us to just watch you kill each other? And Gene's just thinking to himself, is this really a problem that can somehow be solved with a Titan fight? And Mika's and Armin just have no words. And Rain is continuing to speak. I have no intention of being a spectator. The Jaegerists have already killed four of us anyway. I don't know who, I don't, I don't know if this is uh, Rainer talking or Armin. And now, or oh, is this Hanji? Right, I think it's Hanji. She's, yeah, she's sliding down. She's sliding down the hill with McGough. She's the one talking. I have no intention of being a spectator. The Jaegerists have already killed four of us anyway. And more importantly, there's no time left for humanity anymore. So yeah, yeah, Hanji's, Hanji's going all in, man. She's going in for the kill, I think. I, I think that's what she's saying. So these guys already killed uh, four of us. Like, screw them. Uh, she's looking out at the sea, at the smoke. I saw the Titans advancing while leaving behind a huge amount of steam out there in the open sea. These Titans have already reached the continent of Marlene. Oh God! So they're already there. I mean, it's been a whole—it's been a whole day, hasn't it, since they awoke? So yeah, Peckham, Annie, and Rayner, and yeah, basically everyone has just got like shocked face on them. I think I think they didn't realize they would get there so quickly. If I had to guess, based on their speed, they probably have annihilated every city in the northeast part of Marlene, which is close to here. God, I didn't think they'd be able to cross the sea this quickly. With this, they'll reach every other continent in the blink of an eye. So yeah, so while she's talking, uh, McGough is just walking past her and he's, he's nodding. He's pushing slightly, he's pushing Okabayu slightly aside and he's going straight for Yelena. Yelena. I wonder how many people have been killed already. Uh, Hanji's still continuing her talk. Page 13. Oh god, what's going on here? <laughs> McGough just grabbed Yelena by the, by the face basically and uh, what is he doing? He's... He's grabbed her with this hand, and then he's put his foot down on her on her shoulder, like here, and he's grabbed it with his other hand. So he's doing this with his foot, like, like, like that on her, basically, like, and pushing her against the wall or on the floor. Now he's pushing, yeah, he's pushing her against the wall. Oh, he broke her shoulder, I think, her arm. 
Tell, tell us, tell us the whereabouts of Aaron Yeager. Oh God! I'll break. I'll, I'll keep on breaking every joint in your arm until you speak. Holy shit, man! And and, and the others are just watching like, and and Hanji's just like McGuff, and Yalina, oh man, she's sweating crazy. You you don't have to be afraid. I won't kill you. And Yalina's just like she's got that crazy look in her expression. I'm glad. I'm glad. Glad about what? I changed my mind. I don't want to die until I can see with my eyes how this is going to end. If you bring me along with you, I might just tell you where Erin is. And she's crying now, saying this. What the hell? Yalina is so creepy sometimes with her expressions. Like, she's like that She's like that Yardy kind of girl. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I said that right. Yardy girl, you know, the crazy types. Like, you like them. They're cute or good looking. But then they just snap and they just have this crazy expression on their face. And it's just like, whoa, okay. It's a bit, a bit, a bit freaky and haunting. Um... And Hanji's grabbing my by the shoulder and I, we need to protect the airships first. And Okabayu, there's no time for torture now. And he's just like... And McGough looks up and he sees Gabby and she's watching him as well. And he, yeah, he's got a sad look on his face. Like he's sort of disappointed at what he's done. He's regretting what he's done. Connie, Armin, Mika, Sarjean. I want to apologize for my behavior last night. We were wrong. Oh, wow, McGough is apologizing to them. Damn. Man, look at the development for his character. Like, he only came in last arc, but this dude, man, I love him. Like, he's like this dude who's seen all this shit happen, and he's like, I wonder what he's gonna say. Talking about justice so impudently, and now that we came to this point, I still scandalously struggle to try and prove we were right, because I was scared to take a straight look at myself. A despicable Malian. You are not at fault. It's wrong to accuse you of the sins your ancestors committed in the past. Peckham, Annie, Raina, you too. There is no reason why you need to shoulder the entire hatred of this world. But still, we have the responsibility of not forgetting this foolish history drenched in blood and transmitted to, fu to the future generations. So while he's talking like this, you've got Okobayu in the background building a... What do you call it? Uh, an arm... Basically, he's bandaging up. He's he's bandaging up Yalina's uh, broken arm now uh, with uh, like uh, uh, picks, uh, tree picks, or whatever. I don't know what you call it. Like, uh, what's that word for it, man? Like uh, a spring spray, whatever you call it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the right term is. But damn, I'm loving the of development here, man. Page fifteen and already he's like he's admitting his faults, and Yalina's just what crying watching him. Aaron Yeager intends to wipe away everything. I cannot allow that. If we keep on looking away from our foolish behavior, this hell will never end. And he's bowing to them, he's bowing to, uh, <laughs> to, to the audience. So I beg of you, only for now, please pretend you don't see our foolish actions. Please, for, please pretend you don't see our... And Armin's the one speaking, I refuse. Wow, he's refusing. What does that mean, refusing? What does that mean? He refuses. How can we stand here pretending we're right without even dirtying our hands? Oh, uh, wow, okay. That's that's a weird thing for to say. And uh, McGough is just like, Reyna, Annie, and McGough and Peckham are sort of like, what? What do you mean? Please take a look at that steam. So we're looking at, at the... There cannot exist a more dramatic day than this for history to change. So we're looking at the uh, estate. I'm assuming this is the... Uh, uh, yeah, 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 the Amabito estate to an exit port and inside we're looking at a mirror at a window and there's Flock. I don't know if he's, he's the one talking or not. Uh, oh no, what happened? What happened? Yeah, it's Flock talking. Chapter, page 18. The nation of Hizura is no exception, of course. Your culture will disappear without a trace. What a racist... No, he's a racist prick as far as I'm concerned. And will be reborn into a completely new land. You won't have to worry about anything anymore. And he's just like touching Kiyomi. You just have to contribute your services to this island. Luckily, Hizoru's brightest engineers are right here. So now we're getting a little panel of the engineers. They're in the same room with them. Ah, oh, he's taking them all hostage. He's taking the uh, he's taking the engineers and Kiyomi hostage. And uh, we're seeing the Jaegerists. So there's there's one guard there by the window and behind the engineers. And there's two more Jaegerists and they're... There's three dead bodies in the room. 
I think. I think they're dead. I'm assuming they're dead because one of the bodies is on the floor with blood all around him. And, and the other two are getting dragged out. So I don't know who these guys were. Her men, I think. I'm assuming these were her men. And she just she, they just shot them. If you don't want to lose any more subordinates, yeah. He's killed the... Let me hear what you have to say. It's hard to say this when you're in such high spirits, but... So this is Kiyomi talking. Uh, what exactly changed that you're so joyful about? Fox a bit confused by that. Like, well, if you think that Paradise Island is safe with this, I'm sorry to say, but you will just make the world smaller. You will just continue killing each other as usual. And Flock's just like, uh, oh, the usual shit I've heard before, I think. I appreciate your advice. In, I did, in fact, feel that way. But what, what's most important is for you to know your place. This guy's a little bitch. I swear to God, if he doesn't die by the end of this chapter, I'm going to be pissed. Page 20. Okay, he's getting a gun out and he's pointing to Kiyomi's head now. Like, Jesus. We do not need Hizaru's technology. If we deny our hunger for such needless luxuries as flying boats and seamanship, we can pluck away the seeds of our knees. Do you understand what's important? Do you understand? What's important is for you to understand your place. Do you understand? Flock, so someone's calling him over when he looks around and he looks out the window. Where are you? Oh, someone's called him out from outside. What's going on? Oh shit! Armin and Connie just rolled up with horses to the to the bloody building. Anyone's fine. Uh, so hurry up. Where are the? Uh, uh, I don't get it. What's? Where are the? Uh, where are the? Anyone's fine. So hurry up. What, that, that that makes no sense. That translation. That translation is a bit off. Where are, where are the other Marbitos? Armin? Flock? Where have you been? He's opening the window. What are you making such a fuss about? Uh, I was just like, we were chasing the cart titan. They're with the armored titan. They swam away to the ocean. Oh, okay, so uh, Flock thinks they're still on their side. Okay, they don't know they've betrayed them. If we don't act fast, they'll get away. We need the flying boat right now. Hurry up and let the Azumabitos get it ready to fly. Oh, what a, what a trick. What's up, you okay? You alright? You alright? You alright? Wake up. Sorry, my little kitty's here. So, okay, this is a... This is an interesting way to pull... To pull he doesn't know they've been betrayed. So I'm assuming he thinks that uh, Yalina, Okabayu and Jean have been kidnapped by the cart and armor titan. So he knows nothing about this, about these guys pulling the wall over their eyes. So, uh, interesting. So this is how they're going to try and get the plane, yeah? Uh... The Yeagerists are all see on the rooftops are all, are all listening to what Armin's saying. They're, they're like, they're pretty much surprised by this. And Flock's like, what are you saying? What are you doing? Were you not pursuing the Kartai? Isn't it obvious they'll, they'll run to the south? They killed Jean and Okoya, uh, come, uh, Okoya, Okoya Pu, you know? Armin, the flying boat is over there. And Connie's like, it's over there, get to it. I think, yeah, we see the boat from the distance. It's tied to, the, to one of the ships. Flock, hurry up and bring the Azumabito me 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 mechanics. And they're racing to the boat, I think, now. So, page 23. Uh, shit's getting intense. So, Flock is still looking out the window. Armin, as he's riding, he's looking back slightly, like, like with his eyes, to see to see if he's maybe coming or not. Uh, they're racing to the dock now, and they're getting stopped by some guards. Stop! Stop, Connie. Armin. Daz. Samuel. Oh, wow. Daz is here. Remember Daz? That useless... I forgot this character. He, he was the guy uh, on the... Um, training that they had in uh, uh, if you guys remember season two and then we got the flashback with historia and yamir and he was the guy on top of the he was the guy with historia and yamir basically and he was the guy that was sort of hurt or exhausted and, and his story was carrying him and then yamir ended up saving him by jumping down with him to get to the camp faster so yeah he's here sorry guys camera turned off there so yeah that's it's only 12 minutes uh so yeah i don't know i don't know who samuel is but yeah daz is back and he's with the agorists uh that's surprising uh, i thought this guy would quit i mean I've, i played the uh, attack on titan 2 game and he was just like a pussy all the time so um, i'm surprised this dude comes back here like like where's rico though like seriously what happened to rico like what, what, one of the best looking uh, female characters in attack on titan and she just disappeared like what happened to rico man i want rico i want rico back what are you doing what are those bombs uh okay so oh god the plane it's 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 got like a freaking uh detonator uh, bomb or whatever attached to it you need to take them off now we need to use it to chase the marlian survivors who ran into the sea w wait daz is like calm down you two I, I don't know who samuel is but daz is like wait 
uh, the truth is you guys teamed up with Marlene and are going to use this flying boat to try and stop the rumbling it is what we're suspecting what what Connie and Armin are shot uh, the, there's no way we'd do that that's right if we stopped airing what would happen to this island uh, yeah uh, even though we're just about to, about to be safe, there's no way you'd expose this island to danger again like that. Isn't that, uh, Connie's, isn't that obvious? Uh, Connie's like, isn't that obvious? Like, come on, why would we do that, you guys? Are you crazy? And Dad's like, I'm glad. I don't w know what, what we'd do if you guys betrayed us. Ah, uh, so I'm thinking that's what the traitor refers to. Just, I'm just like, hurry up, please remove the bombs. But... If it's you guys, even if it's an enemy country, you'd want to stop Eren's massacre, wouldn't you? I had a feeling like that. Oh god, is, is Dad's gonna blow up the plane? He's gonna blow up the plane, I think. This pussy's gonna blow up the plane. Uh, what? What? Well, what's going on? I don't get it. What? What? I don't get it. They're waiting for him. What? I removed the detonator? What? What's going on? Is the translation off for this one? Like, I'm a bit weirded out by what's going on here. Daz is like, what? I removed the detonator. Why is he asking that? Like, if you remove the detonator. And, and can't, uh, Armin's just like, what the hell's going on? Like, he's looking at the estate again. Next, if we can, he's thinking about this, he's thinking about this in his head. Next, if we can, if we can get Flock to hand over the Azamobito mechanics, how will we get everyone on the complement, completed airship and leave this place? If everything succeeds, we won't spill any blood unnecessarily. You're going to have to spill blood anyway, I think. Uh, page 26. Flock's just like, don't you think this is a bit strange? If you're going to pursue an enemy you know is running to the south, and using the train would be faster. Much more than moving while having to let horses rest. Much more than moving while having to let the horses rest. The reason why they're sneaking around like that is, no, we don't have any evidence. But... Looks like I should pluck away the seeds of unease after all. Oh god, Flox pointing his gun at the engine, at the mechanic, and what the hell? Kiyomi just dropped from her, like, just launched from her chair straight at Flock, and with one hand, with this one, she's, she's gone like that over his, uh, shooting arm. Is she gonna do karate on his ass? We didn't see what's going on. I don't know. I think I think gunshots just went off. I don't know if those were gunshots uh, going on in this panel here. And Armin and uh, Connie, Daz and Samuel are looking. The agorists are looking. They're, they're, they're on the port now sitting down. And, and Connie and Armin are like thinking, it's failed. Oh, Kiyomi just beat Flock's ass up. Like she's got him on the, fl on the floor with his arm twisted. Miss Ki Kiyomi. And the guards have just come in. Hey, Flock. Uh, uh, shit, kill them, as if I'll just die without a fight, oh god, oh god, don't kill Kiyomi, she just proved to be a badass, just now, oh, Mikasa just launched in through the window, like, <laughs> Levi style, remember when Levi came through the freaking bar doors, Mikasa just did that through the window, man, like, smashing through, oh, she's coming in to protect her clans leader, man, she just kicked that dude in the mouth, teeth gone, Holy shit, page 30. Oh god, things are getting intense. Come on, come on, 15 pages left. What's what's gonna go? Oh, oh, Mikasa's doing some... Oh, she just knocked that dude up. Like, she just kicked that dude out of the way. And that other dude's trying to get his gut, like, pistol out to shoot her. Like, he's like... He's dazed by the uh, debris falling on him. Oh, he's aiming his gun, he's aiming his gun. Okay, someone just shoved a pistol into his face. Yeah, Mikasa just shoved the gun into the guy's face, smashing it right in and into a wall. Miss Kiyomi... And Flock's like, Flock just shot his uh, hook, he's shooting it out the window, and he escaped. He pulled himself out and he's escaped through the window. He's outside, he's outside, enemy attack. Uh, he's, he's, he's out the window, he's outside, he's going to the roof, and he's speaking to all of the, all the, the guards there, basically. Enemy attack, Mikasa, Armin, Connie, they have betrayed Eldia. Kill them. Oh god, here it comes. And Mikasa, okay, now we're cutting to page 33. Mikasa's in the room of Kiyomi and the mechanics. They're going to shoot Thunder Spears through the windows. Run to the basement. Shoot. So they're shooting Thunder Spears. Yep, they're shooting Thunder Spears to kill them. Think that the whole top floor just exploded. Everyone's rushing down the stairs. It's just utter chaos at this point. Shit. Mikasa's like, it started. If it turns out like this, we 
no longer have any choice but to annihilate the Jaegerist. Mikasa. Oh god, and they're getting stopped by guards at the f down the floor. Oh god, stop! Mikasa's jumping in, she's rushing in. Boom, she just, we don't even see how she knocked these guys out. She just rushed right into these guys. And there's like three more people to the side. Oh, did they get shot? I think they got shot. I think Mikasa, I think Mikasa might have hit, hit one of them. And the other two got shot, I think. By uh, McGough and, yeah, McGough, I think, because he's raising his gun. And there's, there's Mika, uh, there's Hanji with a handgun. Behind him is uh, Jean. Over here, Azumabito. We'll avoid the attack in the basement. If you want to live, come with us. If you want to live, come with us. That's our next Terminator reference. Come with me if you want to live. If you want to live, come with us. <laughs> so Gene's turn. Is that Hanji saying it or is it Gene saying it? I don't know. Or is that is that McGough saying it? I think it's McGough saying it. I, I don't know. I'm just so confused. Everyone's shouting and Kiyomi's just giving that look like what's... Okay, so uh, yeah, back to back to Connie and Armin, and they can see the chaos happening on the building there, man, from the distance. So, uh, God, oh God, but Daz is going back to the detonator, and Armin looks at him, and he's like, "Hey, Connie's like, hey," and Armin's like, "What are you, Daz? What is Daz? Stop! Oh God, what's he doing? Is he is he attaching the detonator? What's he doing? Oh God!" What the fuck? Armin just got shot. He just got shot three times. Jesus. Samuel just shot Armin like twice in the chest and once in the neck or mouth, I think. What the hell? Yeah, he's just been shot through the mouth. Like, his jaw just went that way. What? Armin, don't move. Samuel, Daz, hurry and blow up the airship. Do it quickly. Oh god, Armin's on the floor bleeding to death. Samuel, hey, you betrayed us, didn't you, Connie? Even though you, you said you'd increase our territory and eat meat with us. Oh, was Samuel with them that day? Or were we cut into a panel to, uh, uh, to, to the first arc or second, or basically season one when, when they were on top of the wall and uh, Sasha got the meat out saying she would share it with them all. Damn it. Why did... Why... 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 Did this? Oh God! What's he gonna do? Page forty. Oh God! What's... How's this gonna end? Jesus. Okay, we're cutting to Mikasa. There's an explosion. I think. Uh, I think they're in the basement now. Yeah, they're in the basement now. There's explosions happening upstairs. The base. Oh no! The I think they were trying to get to the basement. The basement is a dead end. They'll just kill us with time. This is fine, McGough. So if we're safe, they can run as wild as they like. Oh god, I think he means Peckham's uh, Raina and uh, Annie. We're gonna get some female tie in action finally after all, many, after all these years. And now we're kind of flogged. And they're just shooting the thunder spears through this entire building. They're shooting at the bottom, man. They escape to the basement, bring more explosives. And Flock's like, do they intend to haul up in the basement where they have nowhere to run? No, it can't be. This is. Oh, while well, Flock is saying this from behind, there's. Uh... <laughs> this is so funny. While well, Flock is thinking this, from behind him are Raina and Annie coming from the opposite directions. For oh god, he's gonna, are they gonna kill this dude? Like, yeah, they're coming in. Yeah, page forty-one, slicing, and both Raina and uh, Annie are transforming. Boom, big light. What? Samuel is too distracted by the light. What? Boom, Connie just drove into him. And now we're cutting to a. Uh, who's this? It's Oko uh, Okobayu with Yalina, Gabby, Falcom. And Levi and Peckham's. Oh, Peckham's didn't join, so it's it's only uh, it's only uh, Raina and Annie that are doing this. It was no news after all, huh? Why did it turn out like this? So Kabayu's like, why did it turn out like this? And Yalina, you can't take violence away from people, right, Captain? <laughs> and there's Levi just sitting there. I'm wondering if Levi is probably thinking to himself, God damn it, that should be me fighting there alongside these guys. I'm sitting here wasting away. Oh, we got this awesome spread of uh, Reyna and uh, and Annie, man. Like, oh, that's gonna be the cover for for the next for my for my. Yeah, yeah. That's that's my that's my thumbnail for for the next episode uh, chapter. I think. Oh, come on! Four more pages left. What's going on? Annie's just just giving the heat, smacking them into it, and then there's Reyna just pulverizing them. And then now you got Flock into the side screaming, and there's the like he's just 
caught by shock and two of these guys are just shooting thunder spears. We're cutting to Gene, Hunchy and McGough in the basement and there's Connie. There's Connie trying to uh, uh, stop uh, Samuel while Armin's just bleeding out there. There's Daz just crouching, looking at all of this happening in the background. You've got Raynor and Annie just going crazy. Page 44, Daz blow it up and Daz just like, oh Armin, he's getting up and he's he's gone for Daz. Samuel, he's, he's attacked Daz. Armin, stop. Stop, oh god, oh god, Daz, Daz has got a gun in his hand, he's aiming at Armin's head, Armin, oh, Connie's just like, Armin, you traitors, why, aren't we comrades, you are our comrades, but I am, I am, oh god, Daz has got that gun pointed at Armin, and Armin and Daz are looking at each other, and there's Armin, and he's thinking of, oh, he's thinking of Bertold at the time when he was kidnapping uh, Aaron, ah, uh, Oh, he got the gun off Samuel. Stop! Oh, he shot Daz through the head. He shot Daz through the head. And Connie just shot Samuel through oh, the head. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. What was... I don't know if you caught my reaction to that, but... Uh, Connie just got the gun. He just wrestled the gun out of Samuel's hand and he just shot Daz. Point blank. And and now... And he just saved Armin's life. And now... He, and he just shot Samuel. He pointed the gun back and he shot Samuel through the head twice. Twice, boom, boom, double tap, man. Ah, the dream they had together ends as a nightmare. Shit, man. Wow, that's a that was an unexpected chapter, man. I I thought the action would be would start immediately, but these guys, man, this whole chapter was just these guys trying to figure out what to do and just showing their different sides, the pathism and all that. They really tried to do this the right way, and it didn't work out, man. It didn't work out. It didn't work out. Flock was just too smart for the bullshit, man. He was too smart for the bullshit. It didn't work out. He knew. He knew. He suspected and he knew. What way to go for Kiyomi having a moment, man. Like, that was badass. But yeah, man. Uh, I kind of I kind of see this as foreshadowing that maybe Connie's going to die as well, like, later on. This, this feels very similar to, uh, like I said, to the Uprising, except that time it was Jean about to get killed and Armin saved him, and this time it was Armin about to be killed and uh, Connie saved him, so... Anyway, guys, that's my reaction to this chapter, man. I don't know what to say, like, uh, next chapter's gonna be crazy, but uh, Flock is still alive, and at this point, it's pretty much war now, at this point. Like, whatever, whatever route they try to do with peace and that, it didn't work. At this point, it's just a fight for survival. They need to, they need to kill the Agorists. They need to kill Flock. He's kind of like... He's sort of like the, the side villain now at this point, next to Aaron being the main villain, like, in a way, if you think about it. So, yeah. And we still don't know who the guy in the shadows was, the guy who saw them leave. So, we don't know what, what's what, what's up with that. Um, if, if that was Shardis or if that was someone else, maybe. But um, that, that needs to sort of come into play, I guess. But, yeah, next chapter's going to be interesting to see how this all comes together, how it all climates them in. I mean, damn, damn. Anyway, guys, I hope you like my reaction. As always, like and subscribe, whatever, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care, and I can't wait for next month. Hopefully, we'll all stay healthy, uh, stay distant, uh, stay home. And for those of you who do work, uh, who have to go into work, be safe. Wear, wear your gloves, wear your mask if it helps, whatever. Stay clean, wash your hands. Take care, guys, and I'll see you when I shall see you. Bye.